Bum, ba -da -da, ba -da. All right, let me refresh the page and make sure we're live. Hi, everyone. Anya here from Etcher. I'm here with Erwin, the creator of the perfect sketchbook in the Aquarian sketchbook. If you can hear us, type llama in the chat. Look at me being super. Uh, oh, oh, it is. We're live. Llama, llama in the chat. Whoa, whoa. Okay. We are we are live. Okay, everyone's everyone can hear us now. All right, let's start. Um, okay, uh, before I let Erwin take the lead, I just want to let you know what you are all in for today, and we have a few surprises as well. Um, so first off, today is all about the accordion sketchbook. These little sketchbooks, these little babies right here, and Erwin is going to show us how these books are special and how you can use them to plan your art in a different way, different ways to use them. So really, how can your art be special when you're using special tools? It's it's all about that. If you have any questions for Erwin at any point in time, feel free to drop them in the chat, all caps. I will make sure to grab them and throw them Erwin's way. And at the end, we have a surprise as well. We will be giving away two accordion sketchbooks of your choice. They come in hot and cold press, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And in, they come in two sizes as well. So I couldn't resist just doing all the and we we have a special surprise as well to add to this one we will be giving you 50 percent discount or on any item in a special collection if you buy an accordion sketchbook this is a limited promotion valid until october 5th wednesday 11 59 p.m uh and i'll be putting the link in the chat in in just a second and that's it that's all i wanted to let you know um, if you're watching, also let us know where you're from in the chat. I'd love to know where everyone's watching from. And uh, that's okay. I have a request. I'll, I'll do more at the end if we have time. All right. I'll just shut up and I'll let Erwin take over. Okay, Erwin, what do you have yeah, for us? So I guess uh, when we were designing these books, uh, when we first started it, um, since I was actually designing the watercolor sketchbook, so the, the guys that actually were at actually was asking me whether I thought there would be a demand for, for people to have a uh, accordion sketchbook with watercolor. Like I personally don't use like um, watercolor paper or accordion sketchbook, but I guess there's a lot of people asking for it. So I decided to like just make one with uh, watercolor paper and with like a, a good watercolor paper. There are watercolor paper accordion sketchbook, but there isn't one with good watercolor paper. Because I think usually people don't spend that much time painting an accordion sketchbook. Okay. So so that's the biggest difference, obviously, is the paper. Like all other actual sketchbook, uh, the, the differentiating factor is actually the paper. So uh, I was testing it out the other because actually I have when I was designing it, I tested the paper, but because I wasn't I haven't used it for a while now <laughs> until like this event. So I try to like use it again. So I was just like sketching the other day, like um across the border in Malaysia. So I was like crossing the border just to just sketch like a scene. Oh and so God. I was testing out the paper again and I realized, wow, it's actually a really good watercolor paper because I wasn't expecting that for an, an accordion sketchbook, you know? Because usually in the accordion sketchbook, the paper is not like that made for watercolor. So you can see like the clouds, like how the uh, pigments settle on the clouds, like just a light wash. I was able to manipulate uh, quite a bit just in one single wash S simply because the response from the paper was uh, a lot better. Uh, so that, that I think is like the biggest differentiating factor. Uh, the other thing is I think, um, I think for, from my research back then when we designed this, right? Uh, I, I, ours was a little bit bigger than a lot, lot more pages. Some accordion comes only with like a few sheet of paper because people just want to uh, complete like just a tiny scene, like maybe, like maybe like a few pages like that, and then it stops. So can yeah. you show it to the camera? Because we just need to see the art too. And and just yeah. for context too, I mean the accordion sketchbook. Just in case you don't know what we're talking about, it's a sketchbook that is not binded normally like the other books. It right. just opens in one yeah. long page, like an accordion, hence the name. Ta -da. But yeah. It's... And so, so in order to give like most of the artists a lot, lot more bang for the buck, we actually stitch up 
a few more pages than what a, a regular accordion sketchbook usually have when you have a few pages like that mm -hmm. depending on the brand you buy so you know i try to like make it more holistic so like perhaps like if you're traveling you have different sceneries that you want to capture uh, which is what i did on another sketchbook when i was like actually designing the sketchbook and i was leaving hong kong back then so i wanted to capture all the like memories and different scene of the places so i started like going to a different location and i did this in pencil not in watercolor but i did it in pencil mm -hmm. so i would sketch out the entire scene and it would transit to a different location that i would like want to remember like for instance this is like the the, the cityscape and then it transit into like the monastery you know so i designed a book where there's a lot more pages where you can do a lot more of this versus like some sketchbook that only have not that many pages you know so interestingly you can also work on the other side since it's accordion right so you can just flip on the other side and you can work on the other side which i think anya you did on your sketchbook so i, I, you, I did yeah so you can I maybe share, share that on the screen as well um, let yeah. me let me let me make myself big oh my god hi yeah. Sorry, just removing. So I have, uh, we have a small one and a big one, and I'll be giving right. the details in just a second. So I, I love, like Erwin, I like to sketch on the go and paint later for these books specifically. And um, I took some time off uh, during summer, two week vacation, and I used that time to draw memories of my son and what is it that we did. So it's it's I I've been, I haven't been sketching for a while so some sketches are I'm sorry but yeah I mean that was good I really like it beach with, and then I repeated the scene with grandma playing with colors a bunch of sketches and then I did a panoramic view of this place that we went after the beach and then this was on a train ride and if I turn it I started filling it up on this page as well um but yeah this paper like Erwin was saying is pretty durable you can definitely throw some heavy washes on it on both right, sides right, right. it won't even buckle right so, so I think that's the key difference right as far as like using the, the different kind of paper that's being used to make the sketchbook so since most of the sketchbook is about the paper right so you don't want to buy a book where it's not it's not it's not a good paper and you cannot use it so so for the most part uh you just have to be careful when you're using the sketchbook though because this is accordion you don't you don't have really a backing so sometimes i'll bring like a, a drawing board out or clip so i can clip it or i'll just work with like a place where there's something that I can lay down like like longer so i mm -hmm. so i can spread it out so i can paint it because otherwise you don't really have a flat surface to paint so the good thing about the accordion is that you can actually draw very like a very long panoramic view the downside is you need to find a surface where you you can actually paint that flat right and you you are going to have a little bit of this like watercolor like just sipping in the middle of this joint it's just simply because of the way it is right unless you have like a super flat surface when you're outside so so that that is like a big difference with uh working with the accordion sketchbook you know so you would what put clamps like you would yeah i usually along. usually i would like i would just finish sketching you know like mm -hmm. uh, how people would do like continuous line drawing so mm -hmm. i'll kind of have that in the at the back of my mind when i'm drawing so i'll have like like at the back of my mind like a peripheral vision of what how things are supposed to be and i just like work on it left to right and then when everything is done then i'll start to paint it like like laying out flat like that on the ground if i can how how do you know how many pages you're going to use for one drawing? I usually wouldn't know, to be honest. I don't know. So that's the beauty about uh, accordion sketchbook because it goes on quite, quite long. So uh -huh. like, I just, I don't care. I don't plan. I just keep drawing until like I stop, you know? Okay, so that's, good. that's the great thing about it, you know? So that's like when I, I draw, mean. yeah, this is what we do too, right? So when I draw, I just like kept in mind where I am with my pen. Where I'm drawing, and I just keep going left to right. Like, I just keep going. Okay. Yeah. And how do you so, decide? Because can you show us again your spread? Because you have a few different scenes, and it's a really smooth transition from one scene to the other. So how yeah. do you see what is it that so, you're going to draw? Next? So if 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 it looks like I'm, it's deliberate. It's actually kind of. So I kind of create a vignette. So if you look at the scene here, this is 
I don't know if you guys can see the boat, mm -hmm. like this double boat in Hong Kong before they sank the boat a, a few months mm -hmm. ago, I think. It, it sank in the ocean or something. So what happened was like, you see like this, this joint here that is, uh, there's this logo, right? There's this badge, right? Mm -hmm. So I deliberately create like a vignette over there. And then I will transit into the shopping mall, the cityscape shopping mall. Like, so I, I kept this part here as a vignette. Mm -hmm. So like that's like a smooth transition that goes on that way. So, so this takes a little bit of a deliberate planning when, when you're stopping to see how you will stop the space. And then how do you continue the other spaces, you know? So mm -hmm. it, it goes down top. Like over here is more like an abrupt one. Can you see? It stops at the page. Just but because the building. Small. Yeah, just but because even... the building was straight. So I decided to stop it like with the page, with the full of the page. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. But even so you have like those vertical rectangles on the page before that kind yeah. of gives yeah, a passageway yeah, yeah. to the next scene, which is really nice. That's also a really yeah. good tip. Like yeah, element. so I just kind of plan it that way by just thinking about like either vignette or either like using the, the edge of the paper as some kind of like indication of things ending. So uh -huh. like over here, like the cityscape, I just keep drawing. Like I basically, I went there. Actually, I did this over two days. I didn't do it in one day's time. Mm -hmm. Like this, uh, this cityscape scene was where I was planning. I was drawing, I think, until like in the middle section here, I think. Mm. And I got really tired. So I was like, I was, I call it a day. And then I was like, uh -huh, I want to finish this because like it seems incomplete. So I went back again and I just like complete the other. See, there's this like value change. Can you see? Yeah. The shading started to come back again because like that was actually another day when I went back. So it was like two days of work. And then basically I go back and I paint, I just finish that. And then you see this abrupt change here. This it stops at the at the at the full. Yeah. yeah. So this is more like without the vignette, but you can do a one with the vignette where you deliberately have some kind of space allocated to continue. And then I over love here, though, wait, before you go further, I love how the shadow of the tree you have there on the right and and the shadow on the water kind of continues. I don't know if, if yeah, that was I guess I, that wasn't deliberate. But before I start a scene, I usually will see how the pages end previously mm -hmm. and, and think about how I want to continue it. Because I kind of want it to be like this seamless thing because it looks impressive when you open it up. So like, so I did it that way. But obviously this was pencil, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, in pencil, you can you can plan a lot more than say watercolor. Um, but I do the same thing. It's really similar even when I'm doing watercolor. Except that in the case of this, I was just like, Draw, drawing along the way. So this was, this was like a monastery over there. It was really beautiful not monastery. And, and so I just work on it left to right as well. Yeah. A question so for you sometimes, in the Say that again? Sorry, question for everyone in the chat. So do you have a, any, any kind of accordion sketchbook? Have you ever used one? Let us know if you have. And if yeah. you do, how do you use your accordion sketchbook? Because so far we talked about two different things. We talked about panoramic views and both Erwin and I did it horizontally but there's nothing saying you can't do like a full on yeah, yeah. As well right like the right. i-file tower would be like nice to do it vertically and i use it for more or less like a journal for collecting memories throughout throughout my vacation time and you could also glue like cut and glue things on it because it has no spine so it can't really stay as thick as you want our band is elastic, so it can like. I I know I'm on a small corner, but look, it can right. be as thick as you want it. I mean, you can ruin the elastic by just pushing it, right. pulling it a lot. But it's it's you can totally do it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so, so the so question, I guess, some questions here is like, um, I use just a regular pencil, not a water soluble mm -hmm. one, and then the, yeah, the book came, the book comes in both hot press and cold press. So obviously, if you are doing watercolor, you may prefer the cold press since a little bit more texture to it and you can create a lot more texture with it. Um, but it still works with the hot cold press. Like for the pencil that I did over here that you saw, it, I, I would actually prefer to use the hot press one, but just that that day when I brought it out, it was a cold press sketchbook and I just worked with it. 
but you can do it in the hot press and I actually would prefer hot press with pencil because it's smoother, right? And you can get like nicer like transition and stuff like that. Uh, so, so yeah, the book comes in both hot press and cold press and you can use both for whatever what medium. Size yeah. What size is Because we have a small and a big one, right? Yeah, that's a small one and a big one. So the big one is like, um, I think it's like 13 by 21 cm, which yeah. is 5.2 by 8.3 inch. So this is a bigger one, you know, and then this is just a tiny one, which is, I think about half the size, if I'm not wrong, like almost, almost. Yeah, almost, almost yeah. half, slightly yeah, bigger like, than half. Maybe like that, this is like almost half the size, basically. Okay, yeah. So, so the whole point, like, the whole point of accordion, most of the time, at least, is where you are trying to capture like the ent entirety of the entire landscape because it's, it's continuous, right? You can con constantly draw from left to right. You can even go like 360, right? So a lot of my friends would do that. They would just like sketch uh, or they will, they will move. Some, some of my friends will do this. They'll move like from left to right vertically, like, I mean, horizontally, you know? Yeah. Unless you're left-handed, then you can just do the opposite, which is that is right. Hard. Yeah. So and it's this... yeah, it's not exactly a four for the big one. It's kind of no. I don't know whether it's smaller or bigger. I don't have an it's a smaller. A4. I'm European. Smaller? I can vouch yeah. for that. It's smaller. Okay. Look, this is yeah. a four. Wait, this is a right. four. Right. So it's, yeah, it's smaller, it's smaller. A5. It's half yeah, of an A four. Yeah, definitely not that big. Yeah, a four is really big. So the biggest A5, the smaller one, is kind of like an A6, but a bit it's, bigger. Yeah, kind of like a an bit A6. bigger yeah. than A6. I mean, you can see it's slightly bigger than half of this. Right, right. Um, so yeah, so some of the things that also, another tip that I, I, I picked up when I'm using this is that if, if you really want to plan it, you can kind of like try to put mark, like a little bit of mark on the spacing first like for instance like if, like this building i will put like I'll, I'll put a few spots over there without committing to the lines to see how it fills up the space first if it doesn't work just don't draw it you know like usually i'll do that sometimes if i'm planning like a scene and i want like a little bit more precision but generally mm -hmm. using the accordion you don't need to do that you just keep going from left to right you know like a continuous line drawing you just keep going left to right even if the proportion is off so be it you know <laughs> like so that's the whole fun of like drawing like from left to right you know so what you're saying is that you use like dots i'm just trying to understand if i heard you right so you get the spread and you kind of use dots to measure where you want things to land and then you start yeah that? yeah oh. so i'll put like like just like anchor it with some dots just to put the spacing to check whether the spacing the occupation of the space is okay and if it is then i'll try to like, draw it like so this is some of the things that I've also seen a lot of people do when they were like working on sketchbook and they were not sure whether they should commit to it right away. Yeah. So some people do that as well. So, uh, but like I was saying like when you're using a coding, you usually have a lot more margin for error because you're going from left to right because it's so spread out. So you can always like, you know, no, nobody could really see whether you have like that big of a proportion issue unless it's like really spread out you know and uh, what how many pages do you know how many pages these have i mean they're vegan friendly just in case you didn't know anything we do at etri is vegan friendly we don't use any animal nothing animal in the making of any of our products so these I, catch I, I are don't remember the pages actually i think it was like was it 30 i think it's written on the on the website I right know. I, I yeah. asked you because I want to hear your voice, but it's, I know. Uh, it's I think 30. it was like 30, right? Just, yeah. you know, I don't remember. So it's 42 yeah. pages for the small one and 30 for the big one. And you can use both sides. So it's kind of. Yeah. So the pages are counted by both sides, you know? So that's how they count the according pages, both sides. So left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, and then the back side as well. Um, but uh that that is about it you know like let me see what else uh you anybody has any question in the comments section at the moment there's no comments i'm just going to do a quick recap so remember uh these books they come in hot and cold press 
Erwin recommends cold press if you're going to give more of watercolor use to it, if yeah. you're more of a sour than hot press. The big one is around A5 size and it has 30 pages. The small one has 42 pages and those are 30 and 42 pages that you can fully utilize because you can use both sides. So it's not, oh, 30 pages, but I can only use 15. No, no, you can use all 30 and all 42. They're also vegan friendly. Um, what else? What else? Oh, this is what they are. So I think we covered we covered the anatomy of the sketchbook. Anything else you want to add, Urban? Yeah, so I think that is also when we first um, uh, did this, there was some feedback on like, um, as far as like paper flush on the site, it's actually uh -huh. normal. Like all, all this flush is normal because it's impossible to fold it completely perfect because I think it's somehow that there's a lot of manual work involved with making this. So, you know, even, even if you buy a different brand, you will see this imp imperfection. Like some people were looking for a book where it's completely flush straight on the edges. Is yours like that? No, it's, it's not. Possible. And I love that it's not. It gives it Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try though. We try because that was one of the feedback that was given to us. And it's not, it's not a mistake uh, because in the production itself, like I said, there's a lot of manual work involved, you know, so, so it's impossible to get it like completely straight, you know, uh, so it, it's just the way it is like that, you know. So Yeah, it's like all, all other accordions, especially when we have more pages than most of the accordions out there in the market, because that's also a fact, then of right. course comes to a point that it becomes a bit unwieldy. And if you're using it as a journal and you keep gluing, you know, tickets and, and, and little napkin drawings on it, which I find it very charming, then I think it's just adds to the charm of the whole thing when you close it and it stays yeah, like you that. Can read, you can really be creative with this stuff instead of just using the regular medium. Like when I was testing this, I tested on a small paper actually. I was gonna do, I was gonna do like a full accordion, but I haven't gone to that. So I was actually trying to um, prime it with uh, with gesso, and then mm -hmm. I was gonna use like a silver point, like real gold, real silver, like how the old Italians would do it. I wanted mm -hmm. to like draw it like the whole book full of like just silver and gold painting or uh, drawings, yeah. you know. I just haven't gotten to that because it, it takes so much effort and time, you know. Like uh, so, but one day. But uh, for that, I think the hot press paper would be perfect for that. You know, because oh, it's, I just, I just yeah. had one other idea on how you can use and guys and ladies, please, if you have um, any tips, tricks, any suggestions, any random ideas, crazy ideas, I love them crazier, the better on how you would use your sketchbook. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, question was the smallest size a six. Yes, it's slightly bigger than a six. I don't have my a six. Right. I would say, yeah, I would say it fits the criteria of a six. Yeah, it does. Um, like, previously, like yeah, slightly bigger. I have an A6 sketchbook here. Yeah. Oh, perfect for comparison. Banana for compare. I'm sorry for the jokes. Uh, yeah. Actually, actually, A6 is actually actually just A6. The one is a little yes. bit bigger because of the casing, but it's it's the same size basically. Yes. Um, so A6 ish and A5. Those are the sizes. I just had a craziest idea. You could totally get a. Um, an accordion sketchbook and you know that game where you draw something and then you add something else to the next page and give it to the next person and they cannot see what they drew all they can oh. see is the beginning of the drawing and then you keep doing that and at the end you have a sketchbook filled with drawings with a whole lot of people and no one knows what the previous person drew and that's a huge the coolest game ever yeah that'll, that'll be a cool game yeah, that's actually a good idea actually to start like a class or something you know Right? Or yeah, just, I, I, would do that, yeah. I would ship you the sketchbook. You would continue, you'd ship someone <laughs> else's sketchbook, and then it, yeah. would, it would be an amazing thing. Yeah, we In did a project one time over here with the Urban Sketcher guys. Uh, and they did this travel sketch uh, idea where what we did was we, we, we somebody finished a spread and then they sent it to another person. The person will finish another spread. So it goes on and on until they complete the entire sketchbook. So, uh, something to consider to have fun with, I guess. Okay, Any we're approaching the comments. We covered everything. Everyone's kind of quiet in the chat. So we are about to wrap it up. We did right. say that we will go 
between 30 minutes to one hour, depending on how many cool ideas everyone had in the chat. Um, so we will, I think we can proceed with the giveaway. Yeah, sounds good. So how, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I will. I will do that. Oh, I, I have. Okay. I have. A, yeah, uh, my team came up with the coolest way of doing a giveaway. Uh, so I, I will try that for the first time because they do it all the time. I don't. Um, okay. So I'm going to need everyone to participate, right? So if you are actively actively watching, then this is for you. I am going to say a number. I'm going to write the number on this piece of paper. I'm. Excuse me. I'm. I'm going to write a number and you will not know what number I'm writing down. And uh -huh. only when I say that I'm done writing, I will ask everyone to write your own number from one to 100 in the chat. The closest number to the ones I have in here wins. And we're gonna do this twice. Actually, no, we don't have to do this twice. The, the closest two numbers win. And then we have the giveaway. The winners will get to choose which accordion sketchbook they want either hot or cold, A5 or A6-ish. Okay, don't write anything right. yet. I'm going to write the number. So I'm going to write it here so you see I'm not cheating. Okay. Uh. Okay, I have a number. I'm folding it. If, let's say, for example, I, I wrote down the number 25. If someone writes 24 and someone writes 26, the winner is 24. So the closest number, but if there's equal numbers, lower and higher, the lower one wins. So now you can start writing and the closest number wins. Wow, there's already a number coming up. <laughs> yeah, said, you know, if, if someone said... You know, wow, there's 20, a lot of numbers already coming up. Yeah, yeah. go, 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 write it. And you can only write once, all right? Yeah, you can, you only, can write only write one. once. No cheating. <laughs> no cheating. I will know if you cheat. And just for clarity, you know, if if I wrote 25 and someone said uh, 26 and someone else said 22, 26 would win. It's the closest. So this, like the lower number only wins when it's equally distant than the higher number. Okay. But okay. also the, are you also prioritizing the first one that came up with the answers? What if there's similar answers? Oh, if there's if two people say the same number, if if yeah. it's just two people who say the same number and that's the closest number, those two win because we're giving two sketchbooks. Okay. But if we have more than two, we will have to repeat uh, the okay. competition. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we already have a lot of numbers. Done, to go I'm, I'm gonna do a countdown from five and four and three, two, one, and I'm opening my paper. The number. You should make your screen bigger so like everybody can oh, see. Oh, I it. should. Oh, duh, Anya, use your brain. It's lunchtime. I, I need food. <laughs> I don't, is this showing right to you? It's seventeen. I don't know if this is. Yeah, near. seventeen. So let's see what we got here. There's a sixteen okay. in there, and there's an eighteen. So there's no seventeen. So I think I, I think we 18 have. Eighteen is eighteen. Sixteen, yeah, sixteen is the closest. So, so sixteen, yeah. Darlene, you are one of the winners, and Sherwell Jack is the second winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, OK, how do you get the sketchbook? That's a good question that you didn't ask, but I anticipated. Wink, wink. Here you go. Just email us at hello at etcherstudio.com. Let us know that you want the accordion. And let us know which accordion you want, either the A6-ish, the A5-ish, not A5, really, A6-ish, hot or cold. So you choose. Looking forward to getting your email. The team will get back to you. To everyone, <laughs> our team member was tempted to join. Oh God, congratulations, you two. Everyone else, again, I'll put this in the chat. We have a special promotion. It started today. If you do buy an accordion sketchbook, any item from the page I'm about to put in the chat comes in with 50% discount. This is only valid until October 5th, 11.59 p.m. We never say midnight because that's very confusing because then we don't know what they were talking about. There you go. Link is in the chat. You have to use the code Erwin at checkout. <laughs> yeah, 50% is worth it. <laughs> right. And this is it. Uh, no more questions. Any parting words from you, Erwin? Uh, no, I just hope maybe people can share their work when they are using this, like, and uh, maybe tag on social media. Mm -hmm. And then, Please. you know, we get to see what people are come, have come up with. 
or even any suggestion that what we should do to the products? Yes, I, I'd love yeah. to hear. That's a great thing, uh, Erwin. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Tag us at Etcher Studio, Etcher Lab. Tag us yeah. at Etcher underscore Lab on Instagram. Also, we have Etcher uh, Lab on, on Facebook. We also have a Facebook group if you want. So find us there. We are more right. than happy to see your work. Ideas, crazy ideas that you have. How would you use your accordion sketchbook? This should have been a competition. Like, give us your craziest idea on how you use one of the accordion sketchbooks. The most original idea wins. Next time, we'll come up with that. Right, right. It was a number giveaway, which was equally fun. Thank you, everyone, oh. for joining me, Erwin. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for this I event. Hope you got inspired Thank you. Yeah. to create more and do tag us. And okay, I'll I'll let you guys go. Probably to your lunch if you're in Europe. I'll certainly be having mine. Thanks everyone. Again, remember 50% discount on a special collection page on the second item. If you do buy an accordion sketchbook using the code Erwin at checkout. Link is in the chat. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.